Welcome back. In today's video, we've been talking about the Rebel Light from Scarpa, a groundbreaking mountain boot that helps you move faster in the mountains and is also crab one compatible. Okay, so let's start with the upper of the boot and make our way down just like normal. So this has a lightweight micro tech upper, which has then got a PU coating on the outside. This is highly abrasion resistant, so it's perfect for tough terrain like Dartmoor, where you've got quite sharp granite that could scuff up your boots. Um, but also because this boot is designed to be used with crampons, there's a chance you might catch or scuff the boot with your own feet. What makes this boot slightly different to your traditional hiking or walking boots is it uses H-Dry. And what's different about H-Dry is it's actually laminated to the outer material of the boot. So when you uh, get a Gore-Tex boot or a Simpatex boot, they put a waterproof sock into the boot and that creates a space between the outer fabric and the waterproof lining, which can hold quite a lot of moisture and create quite a lot of water weight within the boot. By laminating the H-Dry to the outer of the boot, it reduces this quite dramatically. So there's less space, or there is no space, between the outer fabric and the lining, which means that less water is going to sit there. And realistically, the furthest point that the water can make its way into the boot is just to sit on the outer, making this boot a lot lighter when it's wet. Behind that is a nice soft layer which helps wick away moisture, but also helps protect that liner as well. Up at the top here, we see a sock and tongue construction, which gives you a really nice snug fit around your ankles, which one is gonna stop anything getting down inside the boot. So if you're using this in cold, snowy conditions, you're less likely to get moisture and things wick into the boot. Um, but it also gives you a really comfortable and secure fit. We've got a nice big hoop at the back here, which just means you can get this boot on even with gloves on, um, by putting your finger in there and helping that pull that on. And then we've got a really nice low lacing system, which you might be familiar with from an approach shoe. It gives us a lot more room for adjustment, and it means we're gonna be able to get a really nice fit all the way up the boot. It's worth noting that we, the upper of the boot is nice and reinforced, which means when we put that crampon on and we ratchet it down nice and tight, it's not gonna impact the fit or the shape of the boot as well. As we make our way further down, we're met by a really nice high rubber rand. Like I said, this boot is highly abrasion resistant on the upper, and this is just protecting the lower part of the boot even more, and that's against scuffs and scrapes from rocks and sharp objects, but also from your own crampons as well. This comes up nice and high on the back here and also nice and high around the toe, giving you a really good level of protection. At the back here, we have our crampon attachment point and we'll come back to that in just a little bit. And then moving our way down, we are met with the midsole and also the sole on the bottom of the boot. And that's where this boot gets really interesting. So we've got an active midsole on the bottom of this boot. And that comes with a crampon compatible TPU. This is different thicknesses depending on which part of it you're at. And this represents the blue part at the back of the boot just here. So it's thick where it needs to be. And then it gets thinner where it's not needed as much. And this is all in an effort to reduce weight. We've got two different biodensity midsoles in this boot. So at the back here, we've got a slightly harder medium density uh, midsole, which is gonna give you a lot of stability and support. And then as we come towards the front, we've got another biodensity midsole, but this is a low density one, which is gonna be more to do with cushioning and keeping the boot nice and light. On the sides here represented, uh, you can see it in black just on the side here, but we've also got it represented in orange on the other side is a nice bit of side cushioning just to help with the comfort and overall feel of the boot. And then we have the ARG Last, which is a asymmetric fit. So it's got a narrower heel to really help lock in and apply some heel tension, really hold in their heel when you're, when you're using this boot and you're climbing in this boot and you're moving fast. But then it broadens off towards the forefoot. So it's getting a bit wider around your toes. Um, this is a true to size when it comes to fitting up and it fits true to size on the Brannock device as well, which is what we use to measure your feet. Um, it's got quite a low volume toe section, so it comes down nice and low just to give you a bit more technical precision when you're using this as a scrambling boot. And at the bottom, we've got a really nice spring through the shoe. And um, what that does is give us a more natural gait and quite a stiff boot um, and helps us move more naturally and more fluidly as well. Moving on to the bottom of the boot, we're met by a Vibram sole. Um, we've got a nice heel brake at the back here. And we've also got a few different lug patterns as well. So we've got multi-directional lugs, um, but different parts of the boot um, do different things. So this outer part of the boot is the propulsion area that's designed to help keep you moving forward. We've got our maximum grip area hit the front here, which is also sometimes known as a climbing zone. So it's giving you a lot of surface area to make sure you've got maximum traction. So when you're scrambling and doing those kind of things, you're getting lots of grip. And then around this area here, through the middle of the boot, we've got our multi-directional lugs, which are used for braking, along with the heel brake at the back here as well, to make sure that we've got good grip and good stability on tough terrain. So as I mentioned earlier, this is crampon compatible. It's a B2 boot, which means it's uh, compatible with a C2 crampon, which means it's perfect for winter mountaineering and a little bit of climbing as well. This will take a classic bind crampon, but it'll also take a semi-automatic crampon as well. So we'll pop a few things out of the way 
and then I'll give you a demonstration on how to fit a semi-automatic crampon. And for the demonstration, we'll be using the semi-automatic Petzl Sarkin crampon. Okay, so we've got our boot and we've got our semi-automatic crampon here from Petzl. There we go. So that's the crampon as it would arrive in the box. What you're gonna do is open it all up and slacken off all the cord. In the middle here, we have a small adjustment point which you can change the length of the boot as well. And that's just using a little lip at the back here. So grab your boot, make sure everything's flattened out, pop the toe bit into the rubber toe cap, which will then mold to the front of the boot. And that's what we mentioned earlier about this being nice and rigid. So when we apply tension, it's not changing the shape of the boot. We then get our clip at the back, pop the bottom of it into the little lip in the back of the boot and push up and it will click into place. We then tighten this cord here, bring it round and thread it through our tensioning buckle just here. And that's gonna allow us to get a nice tight fit on the crampon. Obviously the last thing we want is this coming off when you're out. Once you've got it through the tensioning part, pull nice and tight and we're just bringing in this rubber toe cap. Like I said, because the top of the boot is nice and rigid, we don't have to worry about it changing the fit of the boot. Now what you can do is you can tuck your excess back through and there's plenty of little places you can tuck it, but if you're using this crampon with the same boot of the same size every time, it's your own personal pair of crampons, you can just hot knife it off and uh, then you don't have to worry about it. The last thing you want is a load of cord flapping around. So you can just tuck it in the back here, but hot knifing it would definitely be easier. And just like that, the crampon is on the boot. It's a really simple process. And once you've done it a few times, you'll have absolutely no problems doing it. The Rebelle Light is a really awesome boot for anyone looking for a winter mountaineering boot for winter hiking and walking and maybe the occasional climb as well. It would be the ideal boot for someone looking for a Scottish mountaineering boot because it's just as at home in the summer, spring and autumn as it is in the winter. As we said throughout the video, the big thing about this boot is just how light it is for a B2 rated crampon boot. It weighs just 1,310 grams, which is exceptionally light for a boot that's as capable as this one. I hope this video has been useful, and if you've got any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. And like always, we'd really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. We'll catch you next time.